Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reacting to Christian man with Muslim girlfriend tries to mock Islam and this happens. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. How you doing, my dear brother? Yeah, What's your name? Cody. Cody, Wahab, nice to meet you. I'd love to offer you a, a free copy of the Holy Quran if that's okay with you, my dear brother. Is it really free? Yeah, of course it's free, man. There's no there's no tricks up my sleeves, brother. Uh, yeah, absolutely it's free. If I pick this up and walk away with it, you ain't gonna run me down, right? No, I'm not gonna run you down. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's in English. Yes, yeah, in English, of course, man. Why would I give you a, a, a non-English one? Well, I thought yeah, so, the Quran's only supposed to be in Arabic. No, so the original Quran is in Arabic and yeah. then it's translated in English for other people to read or it's translated in other language. Like, for instance, this is a Spanish Quran. Oh, this good. is an English Quran, right? And this is another uh, book as well. It's a brief illustrated guide uh, to understand Islam. Would you like me to give you a bag as well so it's easier for you to hold it? Sure. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. What brought you over to the table if you don't want me asking? She's a Muslim. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Sounds good. Do you know anything about Islam by any chance? Me? Yeah. A little bit. Okay, sounds good. Do you mind if I share with you a little bit about Islam, if that's okay with Go you? Go ahead, man. Sorry. I ain't okay. got nothing but time. So. All right, beautiful, beautiful. And also, feel free to ask any questions you like, okay? There's no sure. such thing as a bad question. There's no such thing as a controversial question. Whatever you have on your mind, feel free to say it, okay? I'm not... I'm not a I'm not a soft person or I'm not like a sensitive person or anything like that. Okay. I know, I know. You're right, you're right, you're right. So as Muslims, right, we believe so this book right here is called the Glorious Quran, right? It is the final revelation that was given to the final prophet of Almighty God, right? So we believe that the Quran is the final revelation of God. And it came because the previous revelations were distorted before that. So that's why the final revelation had to come with the final prophet of Almighty God, known as the Prophet Muhammad. If you know anything about the Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is known as the most influential man on earth. If you Google who is the number one most influential man on earth, Prophet Muhammad is the number one person on that list, right? Uh, no, Jesus I think is number four. How would he? How, how I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Jesus is number one religion in the world not population. necessarily um so there is obviously sixty thousand different dividends of christianity uh catholics being one of the biggest sects and obviously a lot of christians don't consider catholics as christians so if you see it in that sense it's christianity is not the biggest religion in the world islam is actually the biggest religion in the world yeah, but, but islam has its own sect uh, so islam has sunni and shia but they all believe the same when it comes to god um one thing that's a little bit different when it comes to christianity and islam like for instance if you line up five Christians and you line up five Muslims if you ask the five Christians who God is everyone's gonna give you a different answer if you ask the five Muslims they're all gonna give you the same answer of who God is so that's a little bit of a difference there is a little bit of uh, confusion I would say in certain denominations of Christianity because all of them they disagree on certain key points but they agree on many things as well yeah. they agree on the crucifixion they agree on the original sin and they agree on these certain things but there are things that they do disagree with but as muslims we believe right that islam simply means submission to almighty god right so as a muslim we believe that there's only one god right and only that great supreme creator is worthy of worship full stop that's it right very very simple belief we believe in the pure monotheism the, the like the pure monotheism of abraham you're familiar with prophet abraham right so as muslims we believe that one of the first prophets of Almighty God, or one of the first prophets of Islam, was actually Adam. We believe Islam began with Adam, right? And the final message, uh, the final revelation, ended with Prophet Muhammad, yeah. right? He couldn't. He couldn't write, though, right? He couldn't read. He couldn't write. Yes, it was. It was a direct revelation. So the book that you have, else wrote it for him. Um, no. So yeah. So yeah, his companions wrote it for him. But he was. He memorized it, right? He memorized it, and then he relayed the message, right? So every other book before was more of a written tradition. The Quran came in an oral tradition. The reason why is because the previous books got distorted because they were not memorized and they were not 
uh, they were not shared through an oral tradition, through translation, through, trans, through translation and through recitation. So the Quran is different, un, un, unlike any other book, because this book is being recited every single moment of every single day with throughout uh, the Muslim nation. Because as Muslims, we pray five times a day, right? And we're reciting the Quran the entire time, right? So this book has been proven to be preserved since it was revealed to mankind. You understand? So this is actually the original book right here, right? This is the original book right here. So in Ar it's in Arabic. We read it from right to left. Oh, you understand? So in, in English, you, you read, read it from... That? Yeah, absolutely. I can read it. If you want, I would love to share with you a few verses if that's okay with Go you. Go ahead. Stay okay, on. absolutely, absolutely. So as Muslims, we're actually taught to memorize it. So I could do one better. I could look. I could read it for you without even looking at it. All right? You, are you one of those guys that can read the whole book? Yes, yeah, sir. Absolutely. Recite it. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Isn't there a special word for that? Uh, a hafiz. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Allah Samad Lam Yalid Walam Yulad Walam Yakullahu Kufuan Ahad. Right? So what I just recited to you is one of the last chapters of the Holy Quran, right? It's chapter one twelve of the Holy Quran. Singing like that or is, just, is that just you singing it? So me, I kind I kinda have a nice uh, voice, right? Not everyone yeah, has a nice voice. Flex on me, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? If he's saying it, it won't be as nice. I'm gonna have to tell you right now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So I, I do have uh, I every. Say, I, I mean, I hear people like every time we hear Arabic here, it's always like. It's yeah, absolutely. So as as Muslims, we're taught to beautify the recite the the words of the Almighty Creator. So as Muslims, we believe that this is the literal words of the Almighty Creator, right? From Creator to creation, directly to from creator to creation, right? So what I just read for you right now is one of the last chapters of the Holy Quran. And it talks about who Almighty God is, right? It says very clearly, right? In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, right? It says, He is Allah, one and indivisible, meaning you cannot divide Almighty God in parts. He is absolutely one, right? Allah, the sustainer needed by all, meaning all of his creation needs him, but he is not in need of his creation, right? And he has never had any offspring, nor was he born, and there is none comparable to him, right? So as Muslims, we do not believe that we are the children of God, Right, really? we believe that we are the creation of God. Uh, right, so that, that is one of the one of a big you, difference. You can miss a lot of people with that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you can miss a lot of people with that, or you can help them understand as well. Because there's a verse of the Quran that explains why it's such a crazy statement to say Almighty God even has children. Right, in the in the Quran, this is very clearly in chapter 19, verse 88. In, in the chapter of Mary, you're familiar with Mary, right? The mother of Jesus, right? So Mary, the mother of Jesus, she has a whole chapter in the Holy Quran. Yeah, the only woman without. Yeah, absolutely. So it says right here, does Almighty God have children? It says the most compassionate does the, they say the most compassionate has offspring. You have certainly made an outrageous claim by which the heavens are about to burst, right? The earth about to split apart and the mountains to crumble to pieces. So we believe that saying that Almighty God has children is such a blasphemous statement that the mountains will crumble to pieces. The earth were to split apart and the heavens were, were, were to split apart, right? And in protest of attributing children to the most compassionate. It does not befit the majesty of the compassionate to have children. So this is one of the differences. Let me throw one question. Sure, of course. No, any questions that you have. No, no. This is a question that baffles me. Actually. Sure, sure, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. So, you, so you're saying that obviously Jesus is the son of God. Cool. Yeah. Why, why is Jesus the only one born of a virgin? Yes. Well, it's Jesus is very God similar. Many prophets. Yeah. He's the only one. Why? Absolutely, absolutely. It's similar to Adam. Adam was born born without a mother or a father and Adam is more of a miraculous birth than Jesus wouldn't you say because he didn't have no mother or father and he was created with the hands of the Almighty Creator right then he, then he but came, he came into the earth before he was absolutely Adam. absolutely but the thing is we believe that we actually do believe in the virgin birth if you actually believe in the virgin birth then you know Almighty God is not the father because if it's the virgin birth that means there is no father so to say that God has a father and that's uh, to say that Jesus has a father and that's God, that wouldn't make sense, my dear brother. Then that means you don't believe in the virgin birth. You believe Jesus has a father.
I see, What's I the see, whole point I, of the miracle? Saying, Come on, bro. Come I see on, what bro. you're saying, but it's, you, but it's not a human father. I, I, I know, but uh, but I guess that's that's a little bit of the differences that we have. Obviously, you guys call God Father. Yeah. We we call him the Almighty Creator, right? We do not believe that Almighty God is like His creation in any way, shape, or form, right? So we do not believe. Obviously, I'm guessing you believe Jesus is God. Son of God. Oh, the Son of God. Okay, you don't believe. Walek Muslim, Walek Muslim. Yeah. Um. So you you believe he is the Son of God. So do you believe that? Um. So you believe God is separate than Jesus then? No, it's the Trinity. Oh, you believe in the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. So which one would you consider God? Jesus. They are. They're all God. They're all God. It's okay. One. They're all in one. Father is the Son. It's not the Son. The Holy Spirit is not the Jesus. The Jesus is not God. They're all absolutely, God. absolutely. Yeah, and, and that's where as, that's the differences that's between. Fun, that's just fundamental Christianity. Of course, of course. If you really course. know what you're talking about, then that's what you believe. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm very well versed in Christianity. I'm very familiar you with the Christian be belief. Absolutely, you're absolutely. Out here throwing your stuff. Absolutely, uh, absolutely, absolutely. It's important to be knowledgeable. You know, actually, Christianity is one of the first religions that I looked very deeply into until they kicked me out of the church. Why they kick you out? I asked too many questions. Is it Catholic? Uh, no, it was a non-denominational church. Yeah, uh, I asked too many questions, mainly about the Trinity and stuff like that. They didn't necessarily like that, and they kind of they, they thought you were like questioning them. Or? Yeah, well, I mean, it came to the point where they actually called the cops on me because I was asking too many questions. And when the cop came, the cop came, and he was an atheist. So when when he came and he asked like why are you guys calling the cops on me, he said that oh you know he's a he's disturbing uh, he's disturbing he's asking too many questions, and the cop was the atheist so he started laughing he's like what do you mean dude so like this is the place to ask questions. yeah this is the place to ask yeah. questions right so that's one thing that really pushed me away from Christianity is all the questions that I wanted to get answered didn't they didn't have the answers I was looking for and then I gravitated. Well, like I like you what you believe now. All the answers in the book, they don't come from the person, they come from the book. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And obviously, I asked many Christian preachers, I studied the Bible, the different versions of the Bible as well, right? And yet, the answers were not able to be presented, the ones that I was looking for, you know? And I was able to find all the answers in the Holy Quran. So that's how I know, because I've studied all the different religions, not just the Abrahamic religions, but I've studied the other religions as well. So I know for a fact Islam is the true religion of God. Because you cannot say that your religion is the true religion when you haven't studied the other religions. I'll give you an example. For instance, let's say, for instance, we witness a crime, right? There's three witnesses of the crime, right? Would you just interview one witness to find out what happened? Or would you interview all three witnesses? That actually, now that, well, now that you brought that up, now I wanted to leave, but now I got to make a point. Yes. So you're saying, since you're talking about witnesses, you want to talk about witnesses. Muhammad was talking about Jesus 600 years after. Yes, that. yes. So who would you, hypothetically speaking, if I shot somebody on the boardwalk, are you going to believe the person that saw it or the person three miles up the street? Absolutely. So would you believe the, the disciples who wrote what they saw or would you believe Muhammad 600 years Absolutely. Later? So I would trust Muhammad because the disciples have known to be dishonest, right? The disciples, they're not prophets of God. Every single revelation came from a prophet of God. It is not the gospel of Jesus. It is the gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And if, if, if you are aware of the, of, of the Bible, you're aware that there's many anonymous authors of the Bible, which include Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. According to Christian scholars, they say that these are anonymous authors with pen names, meaning only the first name without a last name. They have no idea who Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John actually are. You understand? So why would I trust a book that cannot be authenticated and by people who are non-prophets? I will only trust someone who came and proved he was a prophet and he was known as an honest man. The sure, prophet Muhammad is known as right. the most honest man. Yeah, absolutely. The same dilemma is with both religions. Yes, I, I, no, I wouldn't yes, say it's the Jesus same dilemma. Muhammad never wrote anything down. Uh, absolutely. No, I understand what you're saying, but it was verified by prophet Muhammad. When they, when they read what was written down, they recited it, Prophet Muhammad verified it, along with the angel Gabriel as well, which you guys consider to be the Holy Spirit, we call it Angel Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel visited Mary. Yes. Yeah.
You ever get anybody up here yelling you down? I'm too big. They won't try that. Yeah. 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 Touche. Yeah, yeah. It helps to be your big, big size. Absolutely, when, absolutely. When you're out absolutely. here doing stuff like this. Absolutely, brother. All right, absolutely. well, good luck, man. All right, man. I appreciate, it was, it was, I appreciate you yeah. uh, taking out the time to ask any questions. And I, I appreciate Hopefully, you can be more open-minded. Obviously, you know, you do have a partner that is in the Islamic faith. Oh, I'm open-minded. Yeah, absolutely. I don't hate it at all. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Well, it's beautiful, man. I appreciate if I you. It, I wouldn't even give any time of day, Absolutely, right? absolutely, my you brother. Hey, right? Absolutely, my brother. Well, I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a good one, okay? Stay blessed. <sighs> well, that was fun. Yes, sir. Give that man some water. Yeah. You want some water? تكاد تميز من الغيظ كلما ألقي فيها فوج سألهم خزنتها سألهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم نذير قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعكل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسهقا لأصحاب السعير I love what the guy said about asking questions. Um, he's free to answer any questions however they come. And um, so I'm trying to see how this relates to the Christian man with Muslim girlfriend tries to mock Islam and this happens. Um, this is what people don't understand. Just, cause, just because someone is asking a question, however they frame it, doesn't mean they're insulting they're insulting you, your knowledge, or the religion that you believe in. And I love that throughout this video, the guy was willing to explain to the to the guy he gave the Quran one or two things. You know, this is the sort of interaction that we want to see. You know, just because I say, but I think uh, Muhammad verifying the whatever was written down by his companions is still handwritten by a man and then someone decides to argue because i'm saying that you can make someone understand something without being rude without being mean just take take a breath then explain to someone you know it's not that hard a big shout out to the people that are always willing to explain something like the guy in this video this was a very very interesting video though and the guy had i feel like valid or good questions uh, let me know what you guys actually think uh if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video